Jesus is in favor of women in ministry. Hello, my name is Daniel Corin, and I have written several books in the past, but while I was completing my graduate studies for my master's program, I came across some things that really bothered. I realized there was a whole lot of confusion about women in ministry. There was some misunderstandings, there was some false teaching about it. So I decided to research and dig into this really deep for myself. And what I found is many, many fascinating things. Hours and hours of research put together in this book called He Called Her. We need to have answers for these things. It's not enough, even as men, for us not to know what the Bible says about women in ministry. Not only is there the book, but there is the video course, and we want you to check this out as well. It's a great resource that will help you learn and understand all the different facets that there are to know about the Word of God and what it says about women in ministry. It's a very, very deep and broad topic. Most people form their conclusions on two verses that they misunderstand, and we want to help bring clarity on that. I want people to see women the way Jesus sees women. Not only are there many modules, there's over 30 training modules in this video course, and there are thousands, over 50,000 words in the supporting documentation that you can study with included footnotes so that you can go back and look at those resources and study it to your heart's content and be able to have a reasonable defense for everything that you believe about women in ministry. You won't have a question when it's over. It will be very, very clear in your mind. So not only do you get thousands of words, hundreds of footnotes, and hours of video training, but you also get the hardback book, something to put on your shelf as well. We're including some free bonuses. The bonus material is gonna help you realize that this is not part of a modern trend. Women in ministry is not a modern trend. In fact, the move for women to be in ministry predates the feminist movement, women's liberation. Not only does it go back a few hundred years, it goes back a couple thousand. Let me take you to Matthew chapter 28, the chapter everybody knows is famous for Jesus saying, all authority is given to me in heaven and on earth, and go and make disciples. He gives this command to his disciples, which is men and women. Many times people forget that. The disciples include men and women. Some people say women can't teach men. Women might be able to um, share the gospel with a man, but she shouldn't instruct him or tell him what to do. Shouldn't take authority over them. I want to show you where Jesus has women who show up at a tomb, chapter 28, verse 1, lets us know that Mary and the other Mary showed up at the tomb, his mother lady showed up, and as they're leaving, they encounter Jesus. And there he is, and as they went to tell the disciples, verse 9 says, Behold, Jesus met them, saying, Rejoice, or all hail, in the King James. So they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. And then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren. So they're going to go and announce that Jesus is resurrected. Well, that's fine. We don't have a problem with that. Tell the good news. Well, that's preaching. Declaring the good news of Jesus, his death and resurrection, that's preaching. But that he doesn't stop there. He says, go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. So not only are they declaring the good news of Jesus, they're giving the command to the disciples, including the 11 remaining apostles, what they're to do. Go to Galilee. Jesus wants to meet with you. Now, he could have sent an angel there to tell him this, but he sends the women to go and instruct the men and tell them where to meet him. They got to hear that message because they listened to the voice of the women. I want you to find out what else the Bible has to say about women in ministry. It's an exciting topic, and there are many verses that cover this topic that many people have never even noticed are there. It's not just two verses that talk about women in ministry. There are many. In fact, I think the whole Bible is encouraging women in ministry. We don't have to just look at certain verses, certain selections. So why don't you check it out if you haven't yet? If you haven't got our free ebook, I encourage you to do that. But also go and check this out. You want to sign up for this? Well, it's an introductory offer. You can get the video course and this hardback book comes to your mailbox, shows up at your door, plus the bonuses, plus new modules that we'll be adding. Once you're in, you're in. There's no monthly fee. There's no recurring costs. We're really glad you came and checked this out. We'll see you on the other side.